If you've gotten a COVID booster and had a sore arm, you may be interested in a future alternative, nasal puff. That's what researchers over at the University of Rochester Medical Center are working on now. It's not just another method. The actual booster would elicit a different response from your body. Aron Spitzer explains. Think of it as refocusing or redirecting the immune response, um, you know, from a systemic response to a tissue. David Topham is the director of the Translational Immunology and Infectious Disease Institute at URMC. He tells me traditional jab in the arm vaccine stimulate a systemic response, and his research focuses on a COVID nasal vaccine with the potential to strengthen the immune response in the respiratory system where COVID initially attacks. The idea is that if you have an immune response that's local to the tissue where the pathogen's entering the body, then it's going to be more effective, and we have lots of research that supports that idea. Topham's focus is on the activity of T cells, a type of white blood cell. Unlike antibodies, T cells target parts of the virus that don't mutate, so it would still hold up against different COVID variants. We have to change the vaccine for flu and for COVID all the time because the virus itself is, is shifting, and when it shifts, it's trying to get away from the antibodies, but it's not so good at getting away from the T cells. Topham says this research will take some time. In the meantime, he adds, you should still get vaccinated. Reporting, Ron Spitzer, News 8.